So now when the thermal dies out and we don't have lift anymore, we move on to the next opportunity to climb in a thermal wherever we can find one. Typically going between thermals, I've increased my airspeed up to about 60 miles an hour from 45, which is the speed we were thermally at. If we don't find any more thermals, we'll be back on the ground in 18 minutes. If we find another thermal, we can stay up as long as the lift is there. If we don't find a thermal here, we can make a turn, choose another direction, continue the search. Is that a thermal? That felt like a bump there, yeah. So when we feel that bump, we turn to see if it's going to go above zero on the instruments. If it goes above zero, we've got rising air. If it doesn't, we're in sta stable air and going down 200 feet a minute. Do you turn towards the bump or away from the bump? You try to turn towards it. And it's a 50-50 chance whether you turn the right way or not because you can't see the thermal. If you turn and it goes down instead up, you turn the wrong way. So now I think the thermal is on my left. I turn to the left. If it goes up above zero, we're in a, in a thermal. If it goes below, we're not. And we guessed wrong. Down 400 feet a minute, so we didn't find a thermal on that turn.